Hey guys, uh, Luke here from Rise Above. Um, today we're just going to run you through some of our DJI Enterprise solutions and um, take them for a little bit of a fly. So here we've got the uh, Phantom 4 RTK. This is one of the uh, newest drones by DJI for high level survey grade accuracy surveying. So some of the benefits of this over the uh, standard Phantom 4 are that it's got a RTK system built in so you can get that really high level accuracy. Also you can do PPK with it from the factory so it saves all the data that's needed to do that. You've got a 20 megapixel one inch sensor and from the factory the lens has been calibrated so that your focal length on each craft is calibrated perfectly to get your high level uh, Z accuracy. Your flight time on this is going to be around 30 minutes um, so in that time you can get quite a bit of uh, ground surveyed. There's a few ways that you can uh, run this system. So it comes with a base station, so it's just easy to deploy. You can set it up and go fly anywhere and get your high level accuracy. You're also able to connect to a cause network if you don't have the base station as well. So that allows you to use many of the available base stations set up all over Australia and um, get that high level accuracy without the base station. So this is a really good drone for surveyors. So anyone that wants to just sort of get into surveying, if they're already a surveyor but they're not into drones, this is actually the perfect craft because it's under two kilos, so you can use it without a REPL license. You can use it with some third-party base stations such as Trimble's Likers. Um, so as long as they're compatible with their N-Trip network, um, you are able to connect them to the craft and use them as the base station rather than the DJI unit. So the controller for the Phantom 4 RTK also comes in with a built-in screen. Um, it's a high brightness screen so that you can see it in direct sunlight quite easily. And it also has a removable battery and that's hot swappable as well. So if you're out in the field and it's going dead, you can swap it mid-mission and it'll be completely fine. All right, we'll now go over to Keen, who's going to uh, talk about the Matrice 210. Rise Above is proud to announce the release of the M200 V2 series. This is a go-to aircraft for most industrial applications. The V2 brings with it significant advantages over what the V1 had. Primarily, the inclusion of the OcuSync 2 transmission with its industry-leading AES-256 encryption, which allows further range and reliability in your image and control over the aircraft to ensure safety when operating. Other key features of this include a top and bottom night beacon when operating in BVLOS environments or in situations where you might be encountering manned aircraft as well. The V2 also includes support for the x camera with its 24 megapixel output and Super 35 sensor, which is ideal for mapping situations. DJI has also included its new TimeSync technology, which continuously aligns the GNSS receiver, the onboard sensor, the IMU, and the aircraft status in order to ensure precise timing for the camera events and higher accuracy from any images acquired. The TimeSync technology is extremely beneficial when used with the Matrice 210 RTK V2 and the DRTK 2 base station for Matrice as it allows RTK precision on any images captured and it allows operators to capture and collect reliable data for generation of ortho mosaics with accuracy that was previously not possible with DJI equipment. The Matrice 210 is extremely well suited for a wide range of professional industries with its high temperature resistance, high wind resistance and IP43 body. These industries include mining, government, agriculture, defense, surveying and infrastructure. Here we have the Flyability Elios. Um, so this is the only proven collision tolerant drone on the market. It's designed as an excellent tool to be able to get into confined and inaccessible spaces where it's quite dangerous to send a human in. So you can do a quick inspection um, without risking anybody's life at all. So some of the features of this one, are it's got a uh, full HD live feed back to the controller along with a uh, FLIR thermal camera. You've got some bright LEDs to light the area when you're in there and the brightness of those is fully controllable. Flight times, you're going to get up to about 13 minutes on this one. As you can see, the drone is fully sort of able to articulate inside of this uh, cage. That's why when it runs into a wall, it's just going to roll around. So similar to a lot of the other DJI drones on the market, this uses the Lightbridge 2 technology for image transmission and control. So that's going to give you a really stable link no matter where you're flying it. Both of your cameras on this one are on a one axis gimbal. So if you're just hovering there, you can actually control what you're looking at. 
You can do a dual operator setup as well, so one person can concentrate on flying the craft and keeping it in control, while the other's in control of reviewing the footage and aiming it in the correct direction. So the controller for this one is um, very similar to a lot of other DJI crafts, um, so it's going to feel quite comfortable to use pretty much straight out of the box. So this is one of the only drones that's actually safe to fly around people, as it can bump into them and not cause any damage whatsoever. Some of the industries that this is being widely used in is the oil and gas industry, the mining industry, infrastructure, anywhere where they're trying to save time and protect people. So here I'd like to present to you the uh, DJI Mavic Jewel. This is one of the most long awaited drones from DJI as it incorporates a small thermal sensor that has never been possible on a platform like this. The main advantage of this is that you also have the RGB camera, which allows you to use one of Fleur's most advanced technologies called MSX that actually combines the thermal and infrared image and the RGB in order to give you the highest resolution and the most detail from your shot. The main advantages of this system as well, as similar to the Mavic Enterprise, is the interchangeable payloads on the top of the system that are quick swappable and allow you to adapt to any situation. Here we have the speaker, which allows the operator to record sounds from their mobile phone and transmit it for the full transmission range of the aircraft. It also allows you to loop and pre-record sounds that can be played at a moment's notice using the DJI Pilot Go app. Other payloads for this include the aircraft beacon for enhanced operations and safety between manned and unmanned aircraft, which is visible up to five kilometers, as well as the spotlights, which can be controlled from the app as well. Another key feature of this is the onboard storage, which can be password protected and encrypted to ensure full data security in any mission situation. Another key feature of this aircraft is the omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, which ensures safety when operating near obstacles. Also, the downward facing LEDs, which can be remotely turned on and off, allow enhanced positional accuracy when used in low light situations, as well as in return to home situations. The last feature which has been included on this aircraft, which is extremely beneficial for public service, such as police or SES, is actually the ability to turn off the navigation guidance lights on this remotely from the app. This ensures safety and discrete operation in any situation.